When I hear the names Sean Hornbeck and Ben Ombi, so many things come to mind. And I remember the night that Hornback and Ombi were found alive. I was on a busy street at night and I got down on my knees and thanked God that Ombi and Hornback had been found alive. And I remember it was drizzling rain and all these people were walking past me and all I could think was, they're alive. Both boys were out on a rural road. Uh, it was in daylight hours when they should have been safe, on bicycles, minding their own business. They were both approached by a male in a vehicle and forced into the vehicle. We now know that that male was pizza parlor manager, 41-year-old Michael Devlin. Ben Ombi, uh, like Hornbeck, very, very happy little boy, lived in a very bucolic, almost, almost ideal rural setting. Ombi was a happy, healthy, an A student, a Boy Scout. He was on the school science team when he was kidnapped. Hornbeck argued with Devlin, tried to stop him from taking another boy. For the longest time, Sean Hornback, who again was just 11 years old at the time, his captivity was akin to that of how some people treat animals. Michael Devlin would tie him up with rope and duct tape his mouth. It has puzzled many crime sleuths that Sean Hornback, who again was only 11 years old when he was abducted, that there were many, many chances where he could have escaped Michael Devlin. He was absolutely a victim of Stockholm Syndrome. He was so afraid of his captor he began to identify with the scenario and did not seek freedom. When he did attempt to run away on one occasion, Devlin took him out into a rural area and tried to strangle him to death and only let him live when the boy begged to live and promised he would do whatever Devlin wanted. Michael Devlin was very nervous. And when they would ask him about Ben Ombi, who had only been kidnapped a few days before, he kept talking about his godson. Finally, in one of these conversations, a female officer said, Oh, my stars, he's talking about Sean 